okay? So when we work this out, we get to this part, ML times H bar, ML is this quantum number, is equal to M, the mass, times V phi times R. Well, if you look at this, this is MVR. MVR is an expression for the angular momentum. Um, is, is an expression for the angular momentum uh, in a circular orbit. Okay, And so what we see again is that ML, quantum number ML, is actually quantizes the or the angular momentum, in particular the, or, the angular moment, the component of the angular momentum in the z direction. Okay, why the z direction? Because we're talking about this uh, phi here is the azimuthal angle that is the one that circulates around the z axis. Okay. Okay, so so m sub l quantizes the z component of the angular momentum. Okay. And the wave functions, uh, phi sub m, phi mls, okay, are the eigenfunctions um, of the rate of the azimuthal um, equation, with m sub mls h bar the eigenvalues, okay. And so ml h bar is just a that that has units of angular momentum, m. Um, those are the um, so those are the eigenvalues. Okay, so over here I've written, uh, we've, I've, show, I've I clipped out a little page from our book, in, uh, our book Harris. Okay, and uh, showing this is from Harris, Harris's quantum mechanics or uh, modern physics book, showing the real part of the of these functions, uh, phi mls. Okay, and so what we're showing here is that. Uh, this dotted line is meant to be sort of a, um, a path of increasing phi. Phi is, is zero at the x-axis, okay, so and um, and uh, so sort of, sort of meant to be sort of a, um, a circular orbit with uh, r the radius, all right, and um, and when ml equals zero we get a constant, okay, when ml equals zero uh, this should be an ML. When ML equals zero, we get uh, phi is equal to one. Okay, and what that means is just that we have a big phi is equal to one, which just means that as we go around the azimuthal direction, that we have a constant, um, a function with a constant uh, uh, variable. So that what what's shown here is kind of the the distance either out or in or outward or inward from this dotted line is representing the value of the in some sense the value of big phi um, as you go around the azimuthal direction. Okay. So for um, for ml equals zero, this is just a constant, positive constant. For ml equals one, um, then we have a single um, uh, we we have a uh, the situation where the wave function spends half its time outside this uh, sort of circular orbit uh, and inside and half the time inside. Okay. Okay. For e for m l equals two, we have um, uh, e to the i two phi that corresponds to cosine. Okay, remember this is to this is cosine um, m l phi plus i sine m l phi. So again, we're um, where we're uh, uh, we're just plotting the real part. So when m l is equal to two, then we have cosine of two phi, and so we get um, um, the wave function goes. Uh, Outside this phi axis, uh, for a quarter of its uh, quarter of its orbit, inside for a quarter, outside for a quarter, inside for a quarter, and then for ml equals three, it goes outside for six, inside for six, outside for six, inside for six, etc. Okay, and so um, these are sort of some sort of representation of the um, azimuthal uh, functions, the phi, the big phi's. Okay, uh, it's a little bit hard um, to represent. In any um, in a super meaningful way, but this just gives us an idea and gives us an idea of why this uh, this this quantization happens.